there's so many different kinds of talented players, uh, you know, different styles of play. I think. Um, I mean, whatever whatever the team is looking at. I mean, whatever the team's preference. Um, you know, all these guys are good guys. Of course, they're great players. So I think it's, you know, it's, it's put your head in the cookie jar. We got a cookie. Uh, whatever the team wants, that's what they're gonna get. What do you think you can bring to um, Especially. Um, I mean, just just hard work. A uh, player's gonna come in and do his acts. Um, you know, I'm very versatile. You know, I'm unselfish things like that. Everybody seems to have pegged you already with the Utah Jazz. Is that, how do you feel about that? Who uh, wouldn't want to play with Ron Williams, truthfully? <laughs> I mean, Jerry Sloan is a great coach, obviously. And, I mean, so, I mean, whatever, whatever chips fall, but, I mean, can't, can't be mad at the Utah Jazz draft. Could you go higher, four or five? Is that, is that a possibility? Uh, that's, <laughs> that's, not, that's not my choice. I don't know at all. Um, it's totally up to the team, so. Just my job to keep on working and be ready for when it, when whoever drafts me. Right. What happened today? Did, were you? Did you not participate in the basketball? No, I just just uh, talked to my agent. He he thought it was best that I didn't uh, participate in the workouts. How is this whole all the politics of some guys playing, some guys not? There's no five one five. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I don't have any thoughts on that. Um, I mean, I, I don't have any thoughts on the setup. It's been working and it's still working. Bring up your unselfish play. Do you ever find that sometimes people view that as being passive? When you're um, yes, I definitely, I definitely think sometimes people do mistake that as being passive. Um, that, that's just the way I play. Um, and I think it's been working, and, and uh, it's going to continue to play. Because there are games, obviously, that you can dominate and you have. And you, how do you make that fine line choice? Um, just, just trying to make the right decision. Uh, just trying to make the winning play. That's basically it. I think there's a certain kind of system at the next level that would suit you better than, say, another style? Um, no, I think I can adapt to any style. Uh, I think, uh, you know, I'm a versatile player, so any, any situation you put me in, I think I can adapt to it and, and make plays out of it. And if you ask all the time, but like, who growing up, you model your game, who you want to uh, try to play? Like, what's the most important part of your game? For you? uh, growing up, I don't think I modeled my game after anyone. Um, I, was, I was a big fan of Kevin Garnett. Um, you know, Tim Duncan, players like that. No, but I, I didn't. I wouldn't say I modeled my game after them. But just defensively, what do you think the challenges will be at the next level? I mean, the, the pros. I mean, they're, they're better than what I'm used to. You know, I'm going to have to adapt. You know, going to have to learn ins and outs. Uh, but I mean, they're, they're the best at what they do, and so you're just going to have to learn how to how to get an edge. Greg, five years down the road, what kind of pro do you envision yourself being? A winning one. Does it matter if you're going to be playing the four or the five? Um, no, I mean that, that, that's, that's that's something I believe that's the coach's decision. So, um, you know, my job is to just play. Um, you know, where they put me at, uh, uh, what position. I don't I don't think that's that should be that important. I think that as long as I'm on the court, I, sh I, I need to produce. You don't have a preference there. Um, no. I believe you're only 19, 19 years yes. old. Yes, but. People get people talk about the upside of some of the other guys in this draft. They don't really mention you. Why do you think that is? Uh, I don't know. Um, that's just their points of views. Um, that's their opinions. Um, I don't know. I don't know what what they do. What I'm doing differently. Um, I know that I can get better, and uh, I know I have a long way to go. And uh, I just got to focus on making sure I reach my full potential. In terms of your shooting, is that something that we're going to see more out of you? In the um, yes, I've been working uh, extremely hard on that. Um, and um, I mean, it's something that I do have in my game, and uh, if the opportunity uh, presents itself, I will uh, shoot. What kind of rebounder are you going to be in the NBA? Um, a good one, hopefully. Because that's something that people have questioned about your game at times. I mean, uh, it's a lot of questions uh, people may have about your game. It's just, just my job to play. Right. Um, how would you rate yourself athletically on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Can't answer that. Do you feel like you're just as athletic as an Alpha Rukaminu or someone like that? I mean, some people are just naturally more athletic, you know, they're blessed with um, athleticism. I mean, I'm not here to compare myself to anyone else's athleticism. Do you think that you're better suited for a half court style like, like a Utah because of your style of play, maybe? Uh, no, I don't think I have a problem getting up and down the court, so I wouldn't say that Utah's uh, you know, half court style is. 
it's, it's better suited for me. There's nothing wrong with it. I believe I, I do just as good in their style as if someone that played up tempo. How much is the scouting report on you right now predicated off the system that you played in at Georgetown? Um, I think it is a lot because that's that's what people seen. That's what they know of me. I had I, I played that way, so that's 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 all the information people have. Um, but it, it's accurate. I mean, that system. I don't think it didn't did me any harm. I think it showcased all of my skills. When we saw you in high school, you were knocking down threes and, yeah. and taking guys off the dribble. Is that is that something that you know that that maybe you have more potential and that you weren't able to show? Um, I, I think I did have a chance to show that at Georgetown. Um, but um. Um, I, I, I can still do that, um, and, I'm, and I'm still working on other parts of my game, too. Right. Um, how, well, how tough of a decision was it for you? I mean, you were projected the lottery pick. Everybody said, you know, he's Duffy gone. There's nobody in the right line to come back. Was that your state of mind? When uh, was no. Uh, talked to my family. Uh, we, we, we sat down together, took some time, and made a, made a educated decision. Um, you know, we got all the information we could, and you know, thought about the pros and the cons, and, and, and we made a decision based off of that. It wasn't, you know, what anybody else was saying. is what we thought was right for me and, and for the family. Your agent, David Falk, is kind of a legend in NBA circles. Uh, I've read his book. It's, it's, I mean, the stories that he has. What, what has it been like to interact with him? Uh, the it's, been, it's been great. Um, just being able to be around someone that knows that much about, about the business side of things, um, it's been great, you know, uh, give you tips on, I mean, any advice he gives you, you have to take it. He's been around so many great players, and uh, you know he's he's helped so many people uh, do so many things business-wise that you know just you can't he, you can't you can't think that uh, you know he, he he would give you bad advice. What is his plan for you? Um, uh, his plan for me, uh, just to play. I mean that's that's basically it. Uh, as long as I'm as long as I'm working on the court, uh, he'll be working off. Greg, right. thanks so much. No Best problem. of luck. Thank you.